Hey, what's up guys? It's Jonathan here, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Chinese Shinxia fantasy dramas have become one of the most popular genres in Chinese drama land over the years. This year is going to be the best year for fantasy drama lovers like me because there's so many great fantasy dramas set to premiere this year. So I've decided to make a video of the top 20 most anticipated upcoming Chinese historical Shinxia fantasy dramas set to premiere this year that I'm looking forward to. If you're a sucker for this beautiful genre and its love story like me, then add these dramas to your watch list. Most of the dramas on this list are S tier dramas which means they have high production values so expect to see amazing visuals from most of these dramas. Towards the end of the video, I'm going to give notable mention to some upcoming Chinese fantasy dramas I'm looking forward to this year so make sure to watch until the end. Just a reminder guys, the dramas in this list appear in no particular order so it's not a ranked list. If you go on to enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload new videos like this in the future. Number 1. The Blue Whisper starring Diraba and Alan Wren The Blue Whisper is adapted from the novel of the same name and the drama has been split into two parts. The first part is slated for 30 episodes and the second is slated for 21 episodes. So that's a total of 51 episodes. Anyways, Diraba plays a human with the ability to control demons who gets ordered by a cruel princess to tame Cheng Yi, a merman prince played by Alan Wren. Diraba's character later gets asked to make the merman do three things, speak human language, grow a pair of legs, and be loyal to the princess. One day, she finds herself in a difficult position as she has to make a choice, her freedom or the merman's freedom. The Blue Whisper is slated to premiere in January or sometime in the first quarter of this year on Yuku. Number 2. The Longest Promise starring Xiao Zan and Ren Min. The Longest Promise is adapted from the novel of the same name and it's the prequel to Mirror Twin Cities starring Li Yi Feng and Yuki Chen. The drama takes place in constant content and revolves around a tumultuous love story between Shi Ying and Zhu Yan. Xiao Zan plays Shi Ying, a prince of Kongxing continent who gets banished to the mountains to cultivate after his mother was framed. Originally focused on nothing but cultivation, he begins to develop romantic feelings for Zhu Yan, his disciple played by Ren Min, the princess of Qi Yi tribe. Shi Ying and Zhu Yan don't voice out their feelings due to their teacher-student relationship and they find themselves standing on opposite sides in the fight over political struggle and undergo life and death situations together. They eventually put aside their issues and work together hand in hand to protect Kongsen Continent. The Longest Promise is slated for 50 episodes and is rumored to premiere during the summer of this year on Tencent. Number 3. Song of the Moon starring Vin Zhang and Xu Lu Song of the Moon is adapted from the novel of the same name and it tells the story of a wealthy heiress played by Xu Lu who gets embroiled in a battle between immortals and demons. And in the process, she gets romantically involved with a mysterious cloaked immortal played by Vin Zhang. Song of the Moon is slated for 40 episodes and is set to premiere in January or sometime in the first quarter of this year on Aichi. Number 4. Mirror Twin Cities starring Li Yi Feng and Yuki Chen. Mirror Twin Cities is a 47 episode drama. Yuki Chen plays Bai Ying, a crown princess and a disciple of the sword saint who undergoes a long and arduous journey to desolate clouds, a dreamlike paradise to escape from the chaos of the world. On her journey, she encounters danger and is saved by Li Yi Feng's character, Su Mo, the king of the Merfolk tribe who's determined to free his people from slavery. However, Bai Ying soon discovers that the Desolate Clouds are not the trouble-free paradise she imagined. As she probes further into the history of the Desolate Clouds, she discovers hidden stories, secrets, and legends of the world. Mirror Twin Cities is slated to premiere in the first quarter of this year on Tencent. Number 5. Chang Zi starring Yang Chai Yue and Jeremy Jones Shu. Chang Zi is adapted from the novel of the same and it tells the story of Chang Zi played by Yang Chai Yue, an optimistic and kind girl who is born with a dark power who later gets turned away from society and gets treated badly because of her supposedly evil spirit. 
In her most desperate time of need, she gets saved by a mortal played by Jeremy Joan Chu, who takes her as his only apprentice and teaches her cultivation when he identifies the dark power within her as part of the demon clan. He also decides to protect her from both humans and demons who want to manipulate her for their own gains. Chang Zia is slated for 40 episodes and is set to premiere sometime this year on Tencent. Number 6. Immortal Samsara starring Yang Zi and Ching Yi. Immortal Samsara is a 40 episode drama adapted from the novel of the same name. Yang Zi plays the descendant of the four leaf lotus who becomes a medicine wanderer since ancient times. She and her twin sister later cultivate into a human form and she encounters a love trial. She falls in love with Lord Ying Yuan played by Ching Yi but she has to spend the next 800 years forgetting him. Immortal Samsara is slated to premiere this year on Yuku. Number 7. Snow Eagle Lord starring Shukai and Golanoza. Snow Eagle Lord is adapted from the novel of the same name which has been adapted into a popular anime series. Anyways, the drama is set in a mythical world in the mainland continent and it tells the story of a boy raised in a small peaceful town played by Shukai whose peaceful life is disturbed when his parents get arrested by a foreign tribe. He's left with the responsibility of protecting his brother and rescuing his family. Golanoza plays Yu Jing Chu, his love interest. Snowy Galore is slated for 40 episodes and is currently filming. The earliest we can see this drama is the full quarter of this year or sometime next year 2023 on Tencent. Number 8. Till the End of the Moon starring Luo Yanchi and Bai Lu. Till the End of the Moon is adapted from the novel Black Moonlight Holds the Bees script and it's set in a time where demons have the power over cultivators and mortals. Bai Lu plays the daughter of a powerful sect who's sent back in time to prevent the demon lord from turning into his cruel and bloodthirsty demon persona played by Luo Yanchi. This is Luo Yanchi and Bai Lu's second reunion. They both starred in the 2020 hit drama Love is Sweet and their chemistry was off the roof. Anyways, Till the End of the Moon is slated for 40 episodes and is currently filming. The earliest we can see this drama is the fourth quarter of this year or sometime next year 2023 on Yuku. Number 9. Eternal Love starring SGU and Dylan Wong. Eternal Love is a 36 episode drama adapted from a novel of the same name. SGU plays Xiao Lanwa, the little orchid, a powerful immortal whose tribe gets annihilated by the demon lord. She gets reborn 10,000 years later as a low-ranking immortal of the heavenly tribe. Unknowingly, Xiao Lanwa revives the demon lord, her mortal enemy, played by Dylan Wong, who decides to sacrifice her immortal soul to unleash the curse placed on his body when he gets revived. But in the process, the heartless demon falls for the gentle and adorable young fairy. Eternal Love is slated to premiere this year on Aichi. Number 10. Immortality starring Arthur Chen and Luo Yunchi. Immortality is adapted from the novel The Husky and His White Cat Shizu and it tells the story of two male protagonists Moran and Chu Wanning. Luo Yunchi plays Chu Wanning, a cultivation master who hides his warm heart and sensitive nature behind a cold and distant personality. He takes it upon himself to protect the people and rid the world of evil when it means sacrificing himself. Arthur Chen plays Moran, Chu Wanning's disciple who does all sorts of murderous events that lead to his death after being influenced by the demon's flower. It also leads him to dislike and rebel against his master and he decides to take responsibility for his actions after being resurrected in a parallel universe. There's about 10 boil up dramas in production and I couldn't include them all on this list. But I recently uploaded a video of the top 10 most anticipated Chinese boil up dramas of 2022 and beyond. And if you'd like to check it out, click the link in the right corner of the screen right now or the link in the description down below. Anyways, Immortality is slated for 50 episodes and it will be available on Tencent when it finally premieres. Number 11, Love Never Fails, starring Crystal Yuan and Luo Suiyi. Love Never Fails is adapted from a novel of the same name and it tells the story of a millennium entangled love between a thousand year old chameleon demon and the Zongtian king. Crystal Yuan plays a little chameleon demon who's cultivating to become an immortal after she boldly confessed her love and desire to marry Jin Xu, played by Luo Suiyi. 
He's the king of heaven in charge of Zhang Tian. When Hong Ning confesses her love to Jin Shu, she gets rejected and he tells her to focus on cultivation instead. She then spends hundreds of years cultivating to achieve her goal but begins to consider abandoning her path to cultivation when she finds out Jin Shu is going to marry someone else. This is Crystal Yuan and Lu Suye's second reunion. They both starred in the 2020 hit drama Love and Redemption. Anyways, Love Never Fails is slated for 36 episodes and is set to premiere sometime this year on Mongo TV. Number 12, Love When the Stars Fall, starring Chen Qingxu and Li Landy. Love When the Stars Fall is a sequel to the 2018 hit drama Ashes of Love and it's the third installment of the Honey Trilogy with the first being Ash of Love and the second being Skate Into Love. The three dramas ain't connected plot wise but do share the common theme of love. Anyways, the drama tells the story of two princesses, one good, one evil, played by Landy Lee and He Xuanlin, respectively. The good one is betrothed to the immortal tribe as the heavenly consort, and the evil one to the demon tribe as the demon consort, but something happens and they switch spots. Chin Ching Shu and Chin Muji play the main male leads. Anyways, Love When the Stars Fall is slated for 40 episodes and the earliest we can see this drama is the full quarter of this year or sometime next year 2023 on Yuku. Number 13, Back From the Brink, starring Neo Hu and Zhou Yi. Back From the Brink is adapted from the novel of the same name and it tells the story of Tian Yao played by Neo Hu, an ancient dragon who is betrayed by the woman he loved. She stripped him of his dragon bones and then sealed them in four directions causing him to almost lose his life. But by luck, his soul escapes and he gets reborn. Tian Yao later meets Zhao Yi's character who vows to protect him as she retrieves his missing bones. Back from the Brink is slated for 40 episodes and is set to premiere sometime this year on Yuku. Number 14, Chen Yuan starring Angela Baby and Ma Tianyu. Chen Yuan is a 36 episode drama adapted from the novel of the same name. Ma Tianyu plays a boy born holding a magical blue stone who excels in all his studies. His parents have high hopes for him but what he wants to learn is cultivation. And the twist is he's an immortal banished to the mortal realm as a punishment and it's his last reincarnation. Angela Baby plays Zhang Yin who turns out to be his blue stone and they were both banished to the mortal realm because they let a demon escape. After all this happened, they promised to meet again no matter what. The synopsis is confusing, but hey, at least we know what the drama is about. Chen Yuan is slated to premiere this year on Aichi. Let me give a quick honorable mention to some upcoming Chinese fantasy dramas I am looking forward to this year. Eternal Faith starring Zhang Linghe and Jai Shaowen, Go Princess Go 2, starring Chen Ziyuan and Wu Xuanyi, Who Are Wrong, starring Zhu Jingyi and Fiction Guo, Qian Shu Ling, starring Tong Mengxi and Zhang Yuxi, Blooming, starring Alan Fang and Huang Ring, and Eternal Thought, starring Zheng Yi Cheng and Sun Yi. I recently uploaded two videos of the most anticipated upcoming Chinese historical dramas of 2022 and if you like to check it out, click the link in the right corner of the screen right now or the link in the description down below. Anyways, let me know in the comment section down below which of these upcoming Chinese fantasy dramas you're looking forward to this year. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload new videos like this in the future. If you want to watch more videos like this, click on one of the videos on screen right now. That's all I have for you guys today. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you guys in the next video.